OK, so the Raven. Um, Robert Fly Wings has come up with a great package for 50 quid to get yourself a racing spec Raven wing. So, what are you getting in the bag? Other wing halves. Um, you notice this has been left plain so you can put your own stuff up, aside from the um, Raven wing racing on. A spar to go in that, goes on the other side. The motor mount. Winglets, obviously. You then get a bag of goodies. Which contains an 18 amp ESC. A 2812-18 100kV motor. Um, I ordered extra glue because I'd run out. You don't get that standard. A 6x4 APC prop. The wooden parts of the motor mount. Nope, that's the camera holder, I think. Crevices and uh, push rods and things. Usefully enough, some nicely written instructions about how to do stuff. So, extra equipment you will need a couple of servos, a receiver, I'm using this little um, DR42. A VTX, I'm using a Motion 600 with a big nose antenna which has got a protection top on so when people hit me hopefully it won't um, destroy that or when I crash. Um, also, for the leading edge, some laminate and I've got this super thin laminate here for covering over my decorative things which is why it's taken so long to get this far. So what do I mean by decorative things? Well, I really liked the idea of putting my own decals on and for sort of everybody to have their own bits and pieces so we'd be able to identify wings. Um, I started off drawing out this uh, little cat and a vector drawing package. Um, it, it wasn't completely original. I'd, I've seen some spray paint uh, image of it online, so I was very much inspired by that. The idea was I could cut this out and try and make a template to spray paint. Um, but rather than do that, um, I talked to I Peel, also known as Neil, who had a vinyl cutter and was able to make these really great quality vinyl stickers for me. Um, they weren't particularly easy to work with and that's mainly because the EPP on the wing seems to be very difficult to stick anything to. Um, so a bit of Jiggery pokery was required to get them on nice and straight, um, and as soon as it was on the wing um, and not particularly sticking, is where I used that very thin laminate to cover it over and and hold it in place. So on the underside of the wing, um, I've got my name and my little logo, and on the top of the wing, um, I've got the same thing. And the idea is, of course, I'll be in the front of any race, so people can see it's me leading, or more likely, hey look. Who's that guy sucking a tree? Oh, it's Kerrigan. So whilst this took an extra bit of time to organise and sort out, um, I'm really glad uh, I went with it. And, and big thanks to Neil here, who also actually supplied me with the laminate as well. So I have to thank him multiple times um, for cutting these and, and supplying me with all sorts of bits and pieces. Thanks for him. OK, two things. We're looking here at the completed, I say, almost completed wing. We have a rather curious problem. With the supplied 6x4 it's actually just slightly wide I've looked at uh, other completed ones online and this uh, the Elevon just didn't seem to have this sort of angle coming in it was further down I think this has just been cut a little bit differently or, or joined a little bit differently I've also gone ahead and for now 
attach my servo clevises backwards uh, because they seem to look better and I couldn't figure out why not to. So the um, clevis type hold there and the push roddy holder with the screw, whatever that might be called, is there. Uh, and that seems to work fine. I can't figure out why it should be done the other way uh, other than it says to. So who can tell? So I thought I might just have a quick walk through what I did to build this before I actually do maiden it and potentially break it. Uh, there's not much to it. The the extra bits um, I did, which is sort of off instruction if you like, the battery bay would normally come down to here um, to get the CFG. So what I did is move this VTX forward, which allowed me to move the battery back so I could actually fit the little 808 in here um, and still keep the centre of gravity. I printed out a little um, 3D printed mount there, nothing special, it's just so I can secure it on because the bottom of the 808 is a bit curvy, um, so it needs to be held down, you've got these rubber bands here, to stop it moving. Um, other than that, not, not much happened. The got the leading edges here um, laminated and I went over the wires as well so they're all tucked in and laminated over so it's it's nice and smooth. Um, you only need to lam the leading edge, or oh, that's quite tempting to do the lot. I've then obviously got this much thinner laminate over my uh, vinyls just to keep those on, um, and it's much the same on the other side. Oops. What I also did with this other side to help me is I've got, if you can see, I've got these little uh, tiny stick on plastic things which were from a, a drawer set um, as you sort of close the drawers uh, this will stop it banging and I've put this right on a CG line so I can very easily find with my fingers where to hold the plane to check my CG out and at the moment it's it's just about nicely balanced on a, on a 1.6 battery which is what we're supposed to fly these with um, yeah and that's about it oh the only thing not really plumbed in uh, more permanently is the VTX. Uh, so this has just got a bit of a tape onto the laminate um, in case I need to change the channel if I'm racing or flying with people I can just take that out quickly, flip the channel over and, and put a bit more tape back on there. And that's it. Next steps to Maiden. So rather than mess around and risking crashing line of sight we went straight for the FPV Maiden. Pretty confident having it right, so Neil gave a decent chuck, and it was pretty much up, up, and away from there. We we're quite happy. One thing that was instantly um, obvious from this is that being a very light and reasonably small wing, the, the wind really did batter it around. The uh, first task at this point was just to trim it out a little bit, it just needed a little bit of um, left trim to balance it up, just to get it happy. I think I've also got a, a slightly unbalanced prop, I didn't actually check it, so I was getting a little bit of gel off the camera there. So the wings seemed to fly easily, although it was quite jittery uh, in this wind. But having uh, trimmed out, this is just a glide here with hardly any input, uh, and it seemed pretty happy. Uh, it was quite happy to fly very slowly, um, as well as going a bit faster. So here's a, a let's put the throttle down and see what we can do sort of moment. And uh, it skims along quite nicely. That sounds right though, it just sounds a bit... <laughs> the sun was in quite a nice position. Uh, you don't often get to see this shadow when we're, when we're flying along in planes, mostly because the sun's never out in, uh, in the UK. So it was a pretty short maiden, um, about six minutes of just some general flying around and making sure everything was happy 
and everything reacted correctly. We just did a little bit of vertical here just to show the power and it felt like it would just go up quite happily. Um, it seems to have really, because it's a light wing, plenty of power from that, uh, that motor. I've actually got the rates here at about 40%, but I could probably bring them down a little bit more. I just have to fly it a bit more and, and slightly less wind to find out how it really goes. And there you go. Any maiden where I managed to land the plane and it's still alive. Is a successful maiden. Thanks for watching. <laughs>